That's not leadership. That's not leadership. It's all of those crises. I'm gonna approach them the way I've made decisions throughout my career. Just like you make responsible decisions. And it's not rocket science, folks. Even though I used to work on rocket science. <laughs> but it's not rocket science. It's called common sense. Amen. And that's what the American people are hungry for. Common sense. Amen. And common sense solutions. I happen to believe that despite all of our challenges, we can fix them. Because if you look at the history of the United States of America, all the way back to the Founding Fathers, the thing that we have always done as a nation is we have arisen to the occasion. Yes, Many times those occasions were not pretty, but the American people, the spirit of America, has always risen to the occasion. This nation made it through the Civil War. It almost divided this nation, but it didn't. Because with the spirit of America and the will of the people, and because of the leadership of Abraham Lincoln, this nation was able to stay together and grow and prosper again. This nation made it through World War I. We made it through the Great Depression. This nation made it through the civil rights movement of the 50s and the 60s because of the great leadership of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This nation has always risen to the occasion. And we are facing some of the most challenging times in our history again right now and I happen to believe that the American people are going to rise to the occasion. And I often have people ask me because I happen to I happen to be an American black conservative. Woo! Aren't you angry with the history of America? Yes. What a stupid question. <laughs> America, let me share something with you. You already know. The United States of America is great because of its ability to change things. That's what makes us great. And I had a caller to my radio show, young man who called in one night. I don't do radio anymore, folks, because when you run for president, you have to be unemployed. <laughs> I think that's a silly rule, but I'm unemployed. But that's okay. I'm not in it for the money right now. Where's your teleprompter? You know, the teleprompter <laughs> fell off the bus on the way over here. We were moving too fast. We needed to get rid of some dead weight, so we threw the teleprompter off the bus. But I had a call to call into the radio show one night, and he was dead serious. He identified himself as a young black man who was frustrated. He said, Mr. Kane, I'm frustrated. I said, what are you frustrated about? He said, I'm frustrated because I don't like the direction of this country. I said, oh, I said, do you vote regularly? He said, yes. Do you vote in all of the elections? Yes. What are you frustrated about? Man, I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. I said, do you have a copy of the Declaration of Independence? Woo! He said, yes. I said, go get it. This is on the radio. He went and got it, came back a few minutes later. And I said, okay, turn to the part where it says, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know. That part right there after we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator, not government, not Congress, by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, living in the pursuit of happiness. He said, yes, sir, I found it. I said, okay, I want to remind you of three things. First, it said, endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. He said, yes, I see that. The fact that it said certain unalienable rights 
that among these are life, living, and the pursuit of happiness, there probably were some others that they were thinking about. He said, yeah. I said, it was probably the unalienable right to protect yourself, to protect your family, and to protect your property. We call it the Second Amendment. That's what we call it. It is an unalienable right. And you know what? I kind of like my guns and my Bible. I don't know about you. I like my guns and my Bible. And then I said, here's the other thing you can do when you get the life living in the pursuit of happiness. He said, what's that, Mr. K? Keep reading. Don't stop right there. Because if you keep reading in that great document, it says, when any form of government becomes destructive of those ideals, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. We've got some altering and some abolishing to do. That's what this is about.